All right, y'all, David Beckham's docuseries is number one on Netflix. Everybody's watching it. Mm -hmm. But it's not a shocker highlight that's going viral. It's actually a peek into his closet. I want to see this. His closet tour. It's all quite organized. Jackets, uh, jean shirts, shirts, and then it goes from jumpers, cardies to T-shirts, underwear. Socks. And um, then suits. So. OK. Kind of colour coordinated, and then obviously I put them at an angle just so I can see what's under them. T-shirts. Yeah, T-shirts. So those are my outfits for the rest of the week. Wait, wait, wait. Explain that to me. I prep my week. I've never seen anything like that. I'm, I'm w wildly impressed. Wildly. I, want, I mean, first of all, that's the male equivalent of Oprah's closet. We know that to be true, because our girl Oprah likes organization. But for a man to be that organized... It's not for me. It's not for you. Who could go in there? You open the thing, you, you're, you're, everything's at an angle. I Don't you it. ever just grab anything? No, leave? no, no, no. I love it. I, I totally think it's... You know what? This, this is very clear about David Beckham to me now. Mm -hmm. Because to be as good as he is in his sport, and always has been for all these years, you have to have this crazy discipline. Right. You cannot be successful if you let things go and I'll practice tomorrow. Everything Has is like place. that. But you're crazy disciplined, but your closet doesn't my, work. No, my closet is not. Like, I don't have that. I don't... You're just a position, because you are crazy. Oh. Is that mine? We had it prepared just in case. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know what? And the truth is, that is when it looks good. Oh, I've never. What does it, it look it like It hadn't now? been like that in, since they left. I love I love those girls. But I kind of, yeah, the homemadic girls. I, I know. I kind of like being the organized one in the house, even though sometimes I take it too far and I know. But don't you get mad when someone leaves something out? Yeah, but I try to stuff it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stuff it way down deep where all the hidden stuff is. Because I try, I don't want to be the mom that's okay. like, pick up your stuff, which I but am. You are, but we all are that. But I have a question about Henry. Because when you live with someone who's crazy organized like you are about everything folded, and he just, I mean, does he I, put I all just, of his stuff where it belongs? He, yes. Because of you? Or I think of, I've rubbed off on him. You do? And the way that he, you know, he's rubbed What I, about Mila Poppy and how? Poppy is very organized. She is? Very. Mila, not so much. She's a rebel. Hal is still in his crib, so. <laughs> <laughs> not much to go. Um, Anyway, at some point, do I need to move him out? How old is he? Four. Okay, being four and in a crib. No, but y'all, it's normal, right? No. Mm -mm. Y'all are what? I wasn't even asking you. I was asking, asking them. The people at home. It's normal to have a four-year-old, your last child, nicely in his crib where he feels safe, right? But how does he get up to go to the bathroom? He didn't need to. Oh. But if he ever had an accident, then it happens in his crib. Okay, but he likes it. Did you ask him if yeah, he wants I'm out? Yeah, I'm ready to move him, but he's not wanting to. So what happened? You say, hey, ha I said, do you want to maybe, maybe let's try to talk about moving you next week to your bed. And he said, not this Christmas, but next Christmas. He, he wants to be like it. a kindergartner in his crib. <laughs> anyway, to each their own.